What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a product research technique or a hack, if you wanna call it that, it sounds a little more exciting. So I'm gonna stick with hack, but I don't really see many people covering this little tool that's out there. It's completely free and it could help you find a good product to sell on Amazon. So I wanted to share this information with you. So hopefully it could help with your Amazon FBA journey. But before we get into the video, like I always say, if you could like the video for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you could stay updated with new videos every week and just by commenting and liking my videos I do a giveaway at the end of every month where I pick a random winner from the comment section down below and I give them my Amazon FBA course or a hundred dollar prize I announce the winner at the end of every month so keep an eye out for that but let's get into the video okay so I'm on Amazon and there's a lot of ways to find products to sell on Amazon you could use software like helium 10 black box or jungle scout but I actually found my second product using this technique so all you do is you go on Amazon on and you type in a random word. So I actually found a product just by typing in the word wine and there was a lot of long tail keywords so I kept typing in other words and I found a good product when I did further research. But when you type in a keyword on Amazon it only shows you about five to ten different suggestions down here but we are going to take it one step further with this free Chrome extension. So all you have to do is go to Google and then we're going to type in AMZ suggestion expander. It's right here because I already looked it up and then we're going to click on it. We're going to click right here here and we are going to hit add to chrome right here now it's going to download add extension and it's going to say okay and we're going to go back to amazon and if we look nothing happens so we have to refresh the page so i'm going to hit enter and now when we type in wine it's going to give you a bunch of different keywords that weren't there before but now you can look at these keywords and try to find ideas for products there's a lot of long tail keywords um, so like this, wine and design painting kit for adults, wine and food pairing book, wine and paint party kit. So I would have never thought of looking for these products when I'm trying to find a product to sell on Amazon. But now with all of these different suggestions that weren't there before, you might find one that pops up and it could be a winning product. So I'm going to type in another keyword just to see if we could find a good product. Um, let me type in wood. And then if we come down here, also you could hit the down arrow and it's going to give you different keywords that pop up because now it's changing the main keyword. So I'm hitting down and it's going to keep giving me all of these different ones. Okay, so this is wooden hammer for chocolate. Now I didn't know hammers existed for chocolate, so I'm going to click on that and let's see what it actually is. So we pull it up right here and it looks like a little wooden hammer, just like it says. Not many people have high reviews, so that's looking pretty good. The bestseller only has 760 reviews. So what I'll do from here, if I think it's a good product, this is like a little demonstration. I'll run Helium 10 X-Ray to check their revenue. So one of the first things I look at is the search volume on the main keyword. And right here you can see there's over 26,000 monthly searches. So that's a pretty good sign. Another thing I like to do is look at the average of views to make sure it's not too competitive. This looks like it's low competition. The average revenue is a little low. The price point is pretty good depending on how much it costs to make these things. I'm not sure how you could differentiate these little hammers. It looks like there's like different sizes of the packs. Um, but like if I go right here, like 30 reviews, they're doing 12,000 a month, 85 reviews, they're doing 26,000 a month. Um, let me keep going down here, 11 reviews, only 700 a month. So it's kind of a mixed picture, but I like a lot of these sellers are making good revenue with under like 50 reviews. So that's a pretty positive sign. So from here, I would wanna make sure it's not like a trend. So I would go right here to the top seller, the first organic rank product. This one comes with the little um, silicone mold. Um, so I'm not gonna click on that, but I'll go to this one right here. So I wanna make sure I'm doing the research on the right product. It's just the wooden hand. So I'm going to click on this little box right here and then I'm going to hit run in Cerebro, which is Helium 10's reverse ASIN lookup tool. It's going to give you all of the keywords that this product is ranking for. And then we want to check the search volume history on the main keyword. So it's going to pull it up right here and right here, wooden hammer for chocolate. It has 26,000 monthly searches. So I'm going to click on this little blue arrow right here. And that looks like a pretty trendy product. It could be a seasonal product. But if you look back here before August, there wasn't even a thousand searches per month. And now there's over 26,000 searches. So either this is a trending product or it's a product that's here to stay. It's kind of hard to tell because there's not a lot of history on this product. It didn't see demand until about two months ago. Um, so I would be a little wary of this product, um, but it does have good search volume. There are a lot of people selling it with low reviews 
reviews doing pretty good revenue. I just don't know how I would differentiate this product, but that's just a quick demonstration on how you could find products using this Chrome extension. All you do is type in random keywords right here and it will pull up a ton of different suggestions that you would have never thought of. And then you're gonna go through all of these different keywords and see if anything pops out. And then from there, you wanna do your further product research and make sure it's a good product to sell before you decide to go with it. But that is a quick little hack or tip that you could use when you're doing product research. So hopefully you could find a product this way rather than going the other traditional method. We use Helium 10 or Jungle Scout. There's nothing wrong with it, but this might give you a better chance of finding a product that others are not finding because you're doing something different than most new Amazon sellers. All right, that's it for this video. If you need any help with your own Amazon FBA business or product research, click all my links down below. Um, I also have discount codes for Helium 10 and a Amazon FBA Facebook community you could join for free. Everything is right down below. All right, thanks for watching. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel for a chance to win my Amazon course or a $100 prize. But that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.